Teamwork is essential for businesses and organizations to be successful in today's world. I'll talk about stage two of team development. What are the skills team members need to learn and what are the challenges they'll face as they move through this stage and move to the next one. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance and every week I bring you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and performance management in the workplace. In my last video, I talked about stage one of team development, and prior to that, I covered briefly the four stages of team development. Now I'm gonna cover stage two. And in this stage, teams are getting organized. The manager, the supervisor, is looking to get people, the team members, involved in decision-making. So he needs to get their opinion. There needs to be discussion around the areas of concern. I mean, why get people together to work as a team? It's really to drive ideas from people, get them engaged, practice continuous improvement, have them take more control over their department, over their tasks, so that they're not just doing things, but they're actually thinking about how they can improve them. So in order to get together and discuss, there's a real skill that needs to be learned, and that is understanding each other. And understanding somebody else, first you need to understand yourself. So the manager, the supervisor, needs to provide a way for people to learn that. Now in our training program, Style of Leadership and Team Development, and our team training, My Team and I, we use the types of people approach that was developed by Fritz Glaus. We do this because it's a really dynamic way. We use an interactive activity and people get to see the type that they are. They get to learn their own type and see the type of the people that they're working with. And each type has specific strengths and also fears. And when the fears kick in, they overuse their strengths and this becomes uh, behaviors that are very noticeable. Another way to have people learn about themselves and others is through using uh, assessments. Now we use this as well. We don't use it in our training program, but we do use it to help companies hire the best uh, person for the job and also for uh, coaching people and getting them to know each other. So the tool we use is right now the PXT Select, and we have other tools as well. I'll put links to that information in the description of this video. Now you could also engage team members in team building activities. This is a kind of a way to get them to know and understand each other as well. But when you use a tool like the types of people approach or an assessment, it's more effective because you're focusing on that goal of, of learning about each other and you can debrief, you can have discussions, you can have people set goals and you can continuously exchange around it. Knowing this information helps them as they're communicating with each other, they could refer back to what they learned through the assessment or whatever exercise you're doing. The other thing that team members face because they're now engaging in more discussion and exchange is conflict. That's what can derail a team. And often teams don't go beyond stage two of team development because of conflict. So when people start expressing amongst each other, the personalities really start to come out. And some people have more aggressive way of expressing themselves. Maybe they don't listen well, others listen too much and they withdraw and they're afraid to express themselves. This type of dynamic really increases the potential of conflict or a breakdown in communication. So it's really up to the leader or the manager to provide also training on conflict resolution but in order to prevent conflict, you want to teach people active listening and consensus building. Because if you're asking people to contribute to making the decision, you want them to come to a consensus so that what they're proposing or what they want to agree on comes through a consensus. 
So those are specific skills. People don't necessarily just know them. You, they need to be taught them. And when they're taught in a team training, then everybody's on the same page. So I'm going to cover more about these skills. I'm not going into detail about those now, but I will cover them in other videos, upcoming videos. So if you're not already subscribed, do so now. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, there's, they're coming up on screen right now. You could watch the previous one on stage one of team development. And I'll also put links to those videos in the description of this one. Leave a comment. Let me know how this is impacting you. Thank you for listening and we'll talk again soon.